Hi guys, it's Rike and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I review a lot of activewear, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have another Silverwind haul for you, so if you haven't heard of Silverwind before, I've reviewed them a few times now, um, and I'm just going to link the playlist up here so you can go and check that out. Um, they do have a lot of sustainable activewear, they also do have sustainable swimwear, so all of their stuff is made sustainably from recycled materials, they don't generally overproduce, they do not have a ton of like new collections that like, you know, just push them out like pam pam pam. They have super cute designs, they are 100% women owned as well. And yeah, overall just like a really good, um, you know, environmentally friendly brand, so something we need. And I don't know <laughs> about you, but I've definitely tried some like sustainable fabrics before. And they just felt like so scratchy and like not like stretchy and not soft at all. But these here, at least from what I've seen so far from them, are actually like super soft, super comfortable um, and really good for like some yoga, for some Pilates, for some gym workouts as well. And yeah, they really have to uh, have some really cute designs and some uh, cute patterns and everything is like super unique. So um, that's really nice. You can go check them out on their Instagram. I'm going to... Um, link that here and then also um, their website is mysilverwind.com you can use my code Rika20 uh, to get 20% off your purchase there um, I will get a small commission if you do so but just so you know even though I do get commissions for these kind of things um, sometimes <laughs> not all the time um, I'm still trying to be like super honest or not just trying I am being very honest with you and obviously since this is sustainable active where it is not the cheapest but like I said, you can use the 20% off code uh, Rika20 and then you can get 20% off your purchase in case you want to try that. Um, and as I mentioned, they also do have swimwear, so you can go check that out too, because um, my swimwear video is right here. And um, yeah, very, very cute designs. Um, let's get into it though. So my stuff always comes in like a nice box. And then you can see Silverwind living sustainably. Thank you for supporting our small business. And it just has like a cute little like sticker on here. I actually do have um, an outfit that does have this pattern, this print on it. So yeah, super cute. And uh, let's see, let's see what's in the box. I need to hold it like this so you can see. And oh, it's a lot of teeny tiny packages. Very very cute. So also for them. Um, always with their packaging, nothing is wrapped individually in plastic, which I really appreciate because I always think that's like senseless to um, wrap everything individually in plastic. But you can see it's all like just rolled up in a teeny tiny uh, ball and then you have like just a string around it. It's very cute. We also did get a scrunchie here. So this little scrunchie, I think you can also purchase those. This one coincidentally has a pattern um, that I have on one of the swim pieces, one of the bikinis that I have from them now, so I can kind of mix and match with that. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, a little scrunchie that just has like the uh, Silverwind uh, scripture on there, and it's the Esperance scrunchie. 100% crafted from our sustainable fabric off cuts, so yeah, it's definitely like, it's made from uh, basically over, like material that's left over, which is a good way of getting rid of it. Um, some other brands do that as well, scrunchies, and I think, you know, just very cute. Um, but let's get into the pieces. Oh, hold on. I also did get like a little card. Oh, they apparently do have a rewards program now. So in case you want to check them out, uh, don't forget that because apparently you can get rewards. And then you can see some of the cute outfits here as well. And this is just an instruction on how to, how to join their rewards program. Um, yeah, you can get... One dollar equals 10 points, and then you can get points for like following them on Instagram, submitting a review, photo review, and 50 points is one dollar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think so. Basically, when you shop, let's say you shop something that is a hundred dollars, you get a thousand points, and you get 50, you get for each 50, for all the 50 points, or for each 50 points, you get one dollar discount, basically, kind of. So, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, you can go check them out, check out their website. And like I said, look cute uh, outfits here. They also do have non-pattern stuff in case you're concerned, you know, and you're like, I don't like patterns. I just want something simple. Don't you worry. They also do have um, just pretty colors and just, uh, you know, non-pattern outfits, unicolored outfits, 
solid, solid colors. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but let's get started here. I'm like, I have, I got a white set, so uh, I'm kind of, I kind of want to start with that one. Um, for your information, I usually wear a size small up top, so I also did order my size small here for all the tops. And I'm in between a size small and medium for my bottoms. So here I ordered all mediums for the bottoms, just so you know. Okay, but let's start with this white piece. Uh, or yeah, so it's basically all like belongs kind of together. There's like definitely like bra and legging usually go together print wise or pattern wise or color wise. But of course you don't have to like purchase them as a set. You could also just like mix and match prints and colors. So we'll go through the pieces piece by piece but uh, I will still go through like top and below, like bottom that goes with it. So we'll do top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, because I got three different sets. All right, but let's start with this little thing. It looks like, I, said, I mean, I think it's always, it always looks super cute when they have this whole, uh, this whole uh, thing with like just rolling it up and then, you know, just tying it together with a little string. Um, this is the Floral Jacquard Snow White Long Line Bra. So it's definitely like a true white here. And I don't know if you know what jacquard fabric is, but it is a knitted fabric. And usually when things have uh, jacquard fabric, people do knit tiny patterns into it. So here we have like a little floral pattern here. And I thought it was so cute when I saw it on the pictures. So it is very textured here. And um, that gives it like a slightly different look and very, very cute for sure with the tiny flowers there. But yeah, so this is the sports bra here. It is high neck. Also, I think it's gonna give you good side boob coverage. And um, we have removable cup pads in here. The fabric definitely like feels very, very textured. There is some uh, seam detailing here as well. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's white, but like here on the sides, for example. You do have an elastic under the chest for a little bit more support and to keep you tucked in. And then in the back, we have a little keyhole opening action but also still otherwise thick straps they're not adjustable but you know they're stretchy and stuff so should definitely be able to uh you know kind of mold to your body and then you do have a little silver wind tag here but uh you know that's cute i think it looks super cute and obviously i mean this being white yes it has the floral pattern but this being white i mean it will match with anything so you know should be fine but uh, yeah, cute. Let me just quickly check the uh, material composition if I can. Nope. I don't know where it is. Interesting. Mm hmm. Because it's not on the hang tag. Anyway, like I said, most of these are all of these are made from, <laughs> from recyclable materials. And um, you will find the material composition, if I could find it, uh, in the because I'm really like checking, but I can't see it. Hmm. But you will find it in the description box for the item, you know? So anyway, let's see it on. All right, onto this cute little sports bra. So when I first tried to put it on, like I was like, oh, this is gonna be a little tight, but actually it fits perfectly. So I think it's just because of the jacquard fabric, like getting it over the shoulders was a little bit tougher. But now that I have it on, it fits really nicely. I would say though, if you're in between, do size up. Um, nice coverage on the side, nice coverage up top. You have the elastic underneath that's not too tight, but like still keeping you tucked in here. The pattern is super, super cute. Like I really, really like it. I hope you can see it <laughs> because it is white. It's a little bit harder. And then in the back, we just have like that open back keyhole um, moment there. Super, super cute support wise. Definitely like a medium support for me, maybe even medium to high, but like you're nicely tucked in. Like the boobs aren't going anywhere. And yeah, it's just like a super cute bra. I really like this, uh, the structure of it. So definitely very, very cute. And I like this little, the seam under the boobs here is kind of like a little curved to, you know, shape things a little bit. It's also really nice length, definitely a little bit more long lined. And yeah, just very, very, very cute. Um, like, I think the style is also like, something that they should be doing more often because just like good coverage and very supportive and just like very functional as well while still looking cute, you know? All right, next tiny package is the uh, bottom that goes with this. And this is not a pair of leggings. I know, surprising. <laughs> this is the Florida Cart Snow White 
high-waisted skirt. <laughs> so this is basically, I think it is a skirt, or maybe it's just a skirt? No, it is a skirt, exactly. So, uh, but yeah, it has the same texture here that we had on the sports bra. It's also the same snow white, so really like really true white here in the little tiny flowers. And I don't know, I just thought it looked so cute. Like I couldn't, I couldn't say no to this, so uh, had to had to get it. We do have the little Silverwind logo here on the side, and then so I'm not sure if like that's like the best solution, but I mean it is something. Then you have the size on the other side, so basically now it's like kind of on the side. So if someone wanted to figure out what size you're wearing, which of course is also not really an issue, but like they just had to look at the tag. I think that's how men's jeans work in general. Not all of them, but like. A lot of them have like size in the back, which just seems so weird to me. Anyway, so this is a teeny tiny cute little skirt. We do have a top seam here, but personally, I don't really mind that too much. Then I, I think it's really cute how like the edge is like a little more, like it's not a straight edge here at the bottom. You can kind of see it's like a little bit more. I forgot, I forgot what it's called, but like it does have like a little bit more of a flowy and like more like wavy bottom very very cute then in the back we actually also do have a tiny v here for the glutes surprising interesting and then on the inside you do have your little uh shorts in here they're definitely quite short i would say they're probably like around like two two and a half inches inseam wise and um they do have a front seam but i mean personally i don't mind too much and then we also do have a pocket on one side here so you can still store some stuff there but yeah, super, super cute, very like summery, very, very um, girly as well. Very white, I'm kind of like, you know, it's a little bit concerning sometimes. I'm, I'm a very clumsy person, so I'd be very afraid of like spilling on it, but that's just my problem. <laughs> so uh, that's not the skirt's fault. Um, yeah, very, very cute. I like the texture, I like jacquard fabrics, because it's just like, it feels different, and it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's kind of fun, and then the little like, pattern because it, I mean it is a pattern but it's tone and tone right because it is the same color because it's just like kind of stitched in and um instead of like having the pattern because it's a different color you have the pattern because of the different like levels of the fabric and I think it's always just like super interesting like I find it very intricate and um let's see it on all right onto this little scored I will say getting this over my butt, whew, that was tough because we do have the top seam and while the top seam fits really nicely up here, like it's not cutting in too much or anything, like, you know, it's just it's a really nice fit. This doesn't have a ton of stretch. So it really takes a little bit to wiggle over your butt if you have a little bit of a bigger butt, thigh, hip area like me. It is definitely a little, a little bit challenging. But like now that I have it on, it's all good. Um, I like the length of it. It's like, you know, a normal skirt where they're definitely like for me a little bit shorter in the back and kind of see the shorts a little bit peeking out, which is okay. And I also do want to point out that this one, because it's white, white is really hard to do um, to not get super see-through. So you can definitely, I don't know, in the mirror, I could kind of see the front seam of the shorts underneath sh shining through a little bit. And the shorts are also very, very see-through. So you, should, you can probably see my underwear here. Um, so it's definitely like, not one of those where you could just like, you know, like they're not, they're not adding too much coverage to, to it because they are very, very see-through. So I would also recommend to not wear any dark underwear under the skirt because I feel like it could probably also show through a little bit. So just make sure you don't do that. But I mean, it's a crisp white. It's like a really, really light color. So that's just how it is with those colors. And yeah, I think it's a very cute skirt. I like the texture of it. I like that it's jacquard. I like how high-waisted it is. Um, but yeah, definitely a little bit hard to get on if you have a little bit of a bigger area here and not the most, the, not the most not see-through <laughs> at the lower, the lower levels here. You do have that pocket here as well. So yeah, if, I would say if you use it, also make sure you're not putting anything too dark in it because it would feel like you could kind of see it. But then again, I mean, since like you'd be able to tell if you put something big in there. Like if I put the camera lens cap in here, you can kind of see, you know, you can see that through. I'm not sure, can you still see it? Maybe a tiny bit, maybe you can see kind of like a shadow, but you can also absolutely still, you know, you can tell that there's something in the pocket now. 
but that's just how it goes. And I feel like if you play tennis or something, um, it's quite normal to have a lot of like stuff in the pockets because you put your, your tennis balls in there and stuff. Um, but yeah, just, just telling you, I think it, it's, it's super cute because like this little, you know, it's very crisp white and it's just like a little skirt and, you know, very flowy and the set itself is like super preppy, preppy. That's a word, right? And, um, yeah, cute. Maybe not the most functional because as I also said, I'm, you know, I, I'm clumsy. So I'd be very scared of getting this dirty, but I will for sure reach for the sports bra a lot. The skirt, you need to find the right moment to wear it, I think. All right, two more sets left. Which print am I gonna go first? Four. Let's take this one. This one is also a little bit more colorful. You can already see it, like some purple, some orange. Um, this is from their like butterfly collection, by the way, or their spring summer collection. So it makes sense. It's all kind of like flowery and whatever. But look at this, so cute. Um, this is the Monet's Garden Strappy Bra. So inspired by actual art. I mean, I think I think all of this is art anyway. Like all the cute prints that people are like designing and stuff um, are art to me. And this one is actually made from 16 plastic bottles. You can, they sometimes add a little tag to that so you can see uh, what it is made from. So very cute. They were collected and processed to make this garment. And again, you know, oh, here we, here we go. We have uh, information. This is 84% recycled PET and 16% spandex. So... Good amount of spandex in there too for some stretch and this one basically looks simple from the front you have like a nice kind of like somewhat you know just slightly scooped neckline here removable cup hats again the fabric feels nice and soft and just slightly brushed i hope you can kind of tell but i know the pattern is also distracting <laughs> and then we do have a thicker elastic under the chest but it's still quite nice and stretchy then here we do have silver wind just printed here in silver on it. That kind of makes sense that it's printed in silver. And then you do have a super cute, very, very strappy bra here. Again, no adjustable straps, but you know, they're stretchy, so should be fine. And yeah, this is indeed very strappy. No, this tag got caught in there, but you can kind of tell. It's gonna be it's gonna be really cute. And obviously, like with this print, maybe you're like, oh, I like the print for the top, but like it would be too much for the bottoms. I mean there are so many like lavender purple colored leggings out there right now. Even some orange that you could easily pair that with because you have so many different colors in here. Like even green, there's like different colors or different um, shades of green in here too. Some yellows. So there's like a lot of options for mixing and matching as well, which I think is always quite cute with prints that you have like the possibility to do that. And uh, yeah, let's see it on. All right, Monet's Garden, the sports press, very, very cute. A little bit shorter, maybe. Although that thick elastic also makes it a tad longer than a normal sports bra, I would say. A little bit of a scoop neck here. Tiny bit of cleavage, but really not a lot for me, at least. Good side boob coverage here. And then the thin straps. And then the back that is super strappy, super cute. This fabric is so soft, was really nice against the skin. Support-wise, this is more of a light to medium support for me. Um, but yeah, the fabric feels so cute. Like, so, how can a fabric feel cute? The fabric feels so nice. Just don't listen to me anymore, you know? I don't know what I'm saying, apparently. But yeah, I think it's really, really nice. And it's definitely like, it's art, right? It's really cute. I like all the different colors in there. And definitely like, actually quite good coverage. Like, better than I expected. Hold on, this cup pad is a little wonky. I'm just adjusting it. There we go. Um, but of course, you can also remove those cup pads if you're not a fan of them. Um, the pattern is definitely going to distract from the bitch a little bit. And yeah, you can see it's definitely a lot, a lot of cleavage. But of course, if you have a bigger chest, you might get a little bit more. I feel like with this one, I would also say if you're in between, do size up because the elastic fits me quite well now. And um, if you're a small like me, you know, then you can have to go like it's true to size. But like I would say if you're in between, I would size up for that. Uh, yeah. 
but it's so cute and I like how soft it is like it's incredibly soft like even the part that the elastic is in feels so soft and comfortable nice <laughs> All right, matching bottoms here. So we do have, again, no, no leggings, but also not a skirt. These are the Monet's Garden high-waisted shorts. I figured I should try some shorts sometime. And um, they were made from 18 recycled water bottles, or recycled uh, plastic bottles here. Uh, I guess they don't necessarily have to have been water bottles. And uh, let's take a look at these. They're definitely like not the shortest shorts, uh, which is great because I do like a little bit of a longer length and they're definitely quite high waist so you can already tell there's like a lot of fabric um, above the crotch area basically. They're nice and high waisted. we have no top seam on this one. Again like super soft material so very very brushed. Same pretty pattern here. This is also made from 84% recycled PET and 16% spandex. Again size medium. And you do have a front seam on these. I personally usually, oh, sorry, not a front seam. No front seam on these. Why did I think there was one? There was like, I think because it, it was doing this and then there was like some shadow on it, I don't know. But yeah, no front seam. We do have some seams on the side though because you do have side pockets here, which is nice to have sometimes. And also, of course, on the other side, we do have a little pocket here. And then in the back, you have straight across glute seams here. And, um, you know, I think it's cute when the stitching is kind of like in a bit more of a contrasting color that kind of, I don't know, gives it a little bit more detailing as well. And then in the back, again, to match the sports bra, we have silver wind here and silver written on there. But yeah, super soft. They feel also like really nice and stretchy. With shorts for me, usually because I have thicker thighs, I'm mostly concerned about the um, stretchiness and the harshness of the seam around here. So we will kind of see how that works. And obviously, so this is a print and it is printed on white. So just remember that, you know, they, it could pull a little bit lighter. So that's just, that's just a thing that happens sometimes with prints. And um, I think it should be fine though, because it has like different shades of purple, different shades of other colors as well. So I don't think it should be as obvious. Um, but yeah, let's see these on, I'm excited. All right, here we have the shorts. They're definitely a great length, kind of like a, five, six inch. I'm trying to see where my, where my, my six inch short tan line is, <laughs> but it's kind of like, you know, fading away fast. But I would say like five or six inches for sure. Um, a little bit of cutting in here at the bottom, but it's like not uncomfortable or anything. It just happens. So I would absolutely say if you have bigger thighs, size up. If you're in between, do size up. Um, no front seam here. So obviously I also don't get any camel toe, no top seam either, but these are super nice and high waisted. So even in the back, still really nice and high. And then of course you have your pocket here. And also here is the two pockets. Let's see if my phone fits. And boom, it's in there, yes. So it's poking out a little bit at the top, but I guess it's not gonna fall out or anything. And there's a little bit more space to the side. So they're definitely like very wide pockets. And yeah, I feel like, like I wish they were a little bit more flared out at the bottom here and cutting in a little bit less, but it, like I said, it's not the end of the world. It's just like had other shorts where it was a little bit more thick thigh friendly. It still works. Um, and I really, really like how they fit up top here. Like I'm not getting a ton of compression in the waistband, obviously, because this is where my smaller part is basically around here. Um, but it's, it's fine. And I do like the stitching on the side that you can kind of see, you know, where the pocket is and stuff. I think it's like it's nice with a more contrasting stitching with the color they chose here. And all, all again, super soft material, like the sports bra. It's just really nice and comfortable. Um, I feel like, I'm not sure how sweat wicking this is gonna be, but with the pattern, it's hard to tell if you're sweating anyway, because sweat stains are gonna be harder to see. Uh, but yeah, cute set.
All right, last but not least, we have another cute set, another cute print. And um, let me just un undo this little tie here. And we have this cute little sports bra here. Ooh, hard to hold up apparently. Here we go. And this is the, let me see, Bandari Weave Bag Sports Bra. Again, made from 18 uh, bottles. Oh, sorry, 16. I can't, I can't, uh, can't read numbers apparently. And again, like super nice and soft brushed material here. So this one is a little bit more of a nude color um, as a base. And then we have this like super pretty light blue detailing and then a little bit of white as well. So again, if, you, if you're if you like me, like a lot of blue leggings and like blue activewear, I feel like this could be easily paired with like a super cute, pretty blue legging in case you're not like for patterns all over. So yeah, again, you have like a lot of mix and match options here. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the sports bar. So we do have a little bit more of a V-neck here. You do have some ruching in the front that is slightly stretchy. And then you do also have removable cup pads again. We have two straps here, like two spaghetti straps in the front. And then you also do have an elastic under the chest again for support. Again, like not super tight. It's like just the right amount basically. And then in the back, you have this cute little like woven back. So it's kind of like macrame. Um, so these four straps go in there and then you also, they also do come back out, but like it's just kind of like tightly woven knit together. Very, very cute detailing. And then in the back, you also do have that silver wind uh, scripture in silver. But yeah, super cute. I think this is probably the same material composition. It is definitely 84% recycled polyester, uh, recycled PT, and 16% spandex. But yeah, I think I like I I saw this print and I was like, oh, this one is cute because I do like blues. And like I said, I think this could pair super nicely also with like some light blue leggings. Um, and I don't know. It's just like it's just kind of dreamy. So you have like the flowers in there again, some leaves, and yeah. I don't know. Let's see it on. All right, here we have this cute little sports bra. Again, a tiny bit shorter than the first one we saw. And now we have a little bit more cleavage. I don't really get too much cleavage, but like if you had like a little bit of a bigger chest, you'd get more. We do have this ruching here. Again, not super elastic, but it's kind of like cinching in things a little bit, accentuating your boobs. We have the elastic underneath here. Good side boob coverage again. And then you have those two straps. <laughs> so again, two thinner straps. And then in the back, this cute like kind of macrame like woven detailing. So very, very cute, very, like it's not really minimalistic, but like still not as, like it's not taking up as much space as the strappy sports bra, the Monet Garden one, because you just have that thing in the middle there, right? I hope, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, I feel like it's really nice. Again, fabric is super nice and soft. Feels very comfortable support wise. It's a light to medium support, probably more towards the light support if you have a bigger chest. And I would again say do size up if you're in between, um, but it's really, really cute. I like it. You know, I think it's very flattering for the chest area as well. And again, a good, like good amount of coverage on the side, especially. And you could show off your boobs a little bit if you had a little bit more, just get more cleavage. Yeah, I like it. I also do like the pattern a lot. Like it's very cute. Like tiny blue and the like, like little bit of beige it just works well together and um right now with my extreme tan this is the, the maximum you know on my shoulders especially like i've never been this tan in my life before so um this is the maximum i'll get i think it also looks quite good i'm not sure how this will look in winter <laughs> on me but you know that's okay but it's summer now all good and i really like the sports fur All right, last but not least, we have the bottoms that go with that sports bra that we just saw. And these are leggings. So we have the Bandari high-waisted leggings. Again, size medium for these ones. And here we go. They don't have a top seam. Again, oh no, here we do actually have a front seam. So these ones have a front seam here. Uh, I personally don't mind that, so that's fine. And then they have no side seam, nothing here. It's really just like very, very simple very brushed as well so they have like a lot of um you know softness up top and then in the back you have straight across glute seams 
And that is kind of it. I mean, silver print here in the back as well again. But yeah, that is kind of it. So like not super, um, not like a lot of detailing, not like the shorts, but also the shorts did have pockets. So these ones do not have pockets. They're just like very, very simple. And I mean, I think they're super cute. I don't think these are gonna be super squat proof though. So just keep that in mind because they are very, very light. Obviously these are also printed on white, but I mean, there's not a lot of stuff that can pull sheer here because we do have lighter colors. I think that's always a little bit more obvious when you do have darker colors in the print, but here it's a lot of light colors. So yeah, shouldn't be um, too, too uh, obvious basically. And um, I think it's really funny because this flower is kind of like right in the middle here. Um, but yeah, very, very cute. And let's just see it on. All right, onto these leggings. I don't know if it's like me just being back from vacation and not having, you know, worked out in a little while <laughs> and having eaten North American food, or if these leggings are definitely tighter than some previous ones I had from them. But like getting these on was a little bit more troublesome. I remember in my first Silver Wind video, which I'm gonna link up here in case I haven't done that yet. Um, the medium was definitely quite big and I felt like I could have sized down, but here, like it fits. Like, you know, kind of getting it up was a little bit of a struggle, but like now that I have it on, it fits. So I, with this one, I definitely recommend to size up if you're in between for sure, versus with the other one I, would, one, I would have said to size down. But I think it is the leggings, not me, <laughs> because all the other leggings I've tried on, since I came back, like do fit the same, so yeah. Um, so just keep that in mind. These fit a little bit tighter than maybe some other leggings they've done. I'm also wondering if there's like slight variation because of this all being like not mass produced and whatever, I don't know. But like definitely these feel a little bit tighter and like there's not too much more stretch to give. It is still very soft though and very cute. I also like how high-waisted it is. We have no top seam here, it just fits really nicely. We do have a front seam. I don't feel it right now, but I think there is potential for camel toe if you try to pull it up a little bit higher. Um, and then in the back, you just have straight across glued seams. But I like this print a lot. I think it is super elegant. It's really pretty, really cute. These are full length on me, seven eighths to full length, depending on how I pull them up or a little bit further down and a little bit compressive for sure, especially in the thigh, knee, calf area, so in the leg. Not so much up top here, not even around my butt, but like from here on downwards, I can feel a little bit of compression. Um, so just keep that in mind. Maybe these are not perfect if you're not looking for a lot of compression or you just size up. I mean, that's also okay. But yeah, otherwise no no big detailing, basically nothing else, but I think you know, it's, it's just like the print is just like really cute. And obviously these are very simple cut, but they don't really need that much more because of the print, right? And again, very, very soft, but could be a tad stretchier or fit a little bit different, I think. All right, it's conclusion time. Um, I'm like really, really happy with the cute prints. I did like um, the pattern of the jacquard fabric as well. And yeah, like I said, obviously, I mean, if you're not like super into all these prints, I think a cute print sports bra with like a solid color legging always goes well together. If you just want to add a little pop of color, but also, you know, for me, I like these printed leggings a lot also for um, I don't know, just because I think they're super cute. And for like yoga and Pilates, that's definitely what I would go for. But also, you know, if the day is right and if I feel like it, I would also wear these absolutely to the gym for just a workout. Um, but yeah, it's like super cute. The sports bras are like also, you know, just like 
all the straps. I just, I just like strap your sports bras. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with the stuff that I got. And um, it's just good to know that, you know, it's made from sustainable materials. It makes me feel a little bit better. And yeah, super cute prints. Uh, I would highly recommend you go check out their website because there's so many other cute prints as well. And obviously, since they're like a smaller brand and they try not to produce a ton of stuff, you usually get one print per set. So you can't be like, oh, I like the style sports bra and I want it in a different print. It's usually the style sports bra you get in that print. So just so you're aware, this is how they this is how they work. And this is quite common, I think, for smaller companies. Um, but it's like still very cute. So I kind of usually, when I choose my pieces, I go by the print. And then just, you know, let myself get surprised by like how much I will like the design of the sports bra or, um, you know, the shorts, for example. But yeah, so many cute prints. Um, go check them out. You can also check out their Instagram. So we went official. And just a reminder, you can use my code Rika20 to get 20% off their website. I'm also going to put that in the uh, description box down below so you can find that a little bit more easily. But yeah, very, very cute prints. If you're into prints, you should definitely check them out. And like I said, they also do have some solid colors. And um, you can also go and see, uh, take a look at those because they're also very, very pretty. And um, yeah, you can easily mix and match. So that's that. And um, yeah, that is also that for me today. You can follow me on Instagram and then also see some of those pieces in action for sure. Um, you can also DM me there, but be aware I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. So if you, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, like any brands you want to see, uh, any types of videos you want to see, um, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I really hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it your thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done that yet, you can, you can subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new upcoming videos and you don't miss a single video because who would want to do that, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you had fun and I will see you next time. Bye.